Hey, Ron here from Military Images Magazine. Thanks for joining me for a new episode of Life on the Civil War Research Trail. When I was a kid learning about the Civil War, George Gordon Meade was a complete puzzle to me. I couldn't understand how the victor of Gettysburg was barely mentioned in history books. Robert E. Lee dominated the story of Gettysburg. But why? Lee lost the battle. I could never figure this out. Well, I eventually came to learn that Meade actually gained the respect of his peers as evidenced by General Ulysses S. Grant not relieving him after he became general of the armies, kept him in his position. But Meade's crusty, cantankerous, ornery, ill-tempered personality rubbed so many folks the wrong way even his staff. Lee, on the other hand, famously was genteel. He had that fatherly manner. He inspired the admiration and hero worship in the Army of Northern Virginia and the South in general. But like all people, Meade was complex emotionally. He had his moments of kindness. Here's one that I want to share with you. It takes, nine, nine, takes place nine days after the Battle of Gettysburg. At this point in time, the Union and Confederate armies were poised for renewed fighting on the Maryland side of the Potomac River near Falling Waters. At one point on that Sunday, July 12, 1863, Meade and his staff on horseback arrived near the position of a Pennsylvania Infantry Regiment, the 118th Volunteers. Three companies of that regiment soon received orders to move in support of the picket line. So Meade comes in, orders come down, you begin to see a detachment from the Pennsylvania Regiment move out. Something is afoot, some movement is afoot, battle appears imminent. All of this is being taken in by the chaplain of the 118th Pennsylvania, William J. O'Neill, an Irish American, an immigrant who is fired up and he's unhappy. We can't be fighting on the Sabbath, he's thinking. So he approaches Meade to protest and everyone around him is expecting what's gonna happen next. They're expecting that, anticipating that terse and angry reaction from Meade, the old snapping turtle as they knew him. The historian of the 118th Pennsylvania revealed the unexpected outcome in the history of the regiment. I'm gonna read this brief encounter to you. So here we go from the regimental history of the 118th Pennsylvania. Quote, a further evidence of the imminence of an engagement was the astounding conduct prompted by the overweening religious zeal of Chaplain O'Neill. General Meade still retained the position from which he had given the directions for the movement of the three companies to support of the pickets. The chaplain, with head uncovered, solemnly approached Meade and boldly inquired whether the impending battle could not as well be fought on the next day as on God's holy Sabbath. All who heard him expected he would meet a crushing rebuke. But instead of this, General Meade received his interrogation most graciously and naively replied in parable, drawn to it doubtless by the scriptural calling of his interrogator. Meade said he was like a man who had a contract to make a box. The four sides were completed, the bottom finished, and the lid ready to be put on and that he proposed to do so with the engagement about to begin. Delay might vitiate the entire contract, and he saw no way out of it except for the fight to go on. Then, said the chaplain, in tones as if he were administering heaven's thunderous anathemas, as God's agent and disciple, I solemnly protest, and will show you that the Almighty will not permit you to desecrate his sacred day with the exhibition of man's inhumanity to man. Look at the heavens, see the threatening storm approaching. And the chaplain's prediction had scarce been made before it was fulfilled. 
the clouds that had been gathering all the afternoon suddenly broke forth in copious showers while vivid lightning and appealing thunder followed and deep darkness settled everywhere before the storm was over. Meade ultimately delayed, and you know the rest of the story. Until we meet again, happy trails.